Hi guys, I'm going to use my velvet action to show how to do, how I'm going to do this edit. And this is before you can see uh, different uh, skin tones and also not just that. And I'm going to show how to use the actions for, for skin. Okay, so let me get rid of this. I'm going to duplicate this image and uh, and hide one of them then I'm going to so I can show you before and after duplicate this one so I'm going to duplicate the, the image and now uh, with my um, J is the shortcut for my patch tool and spot healing tool I'm going to use and I'm going to go with the spot healing brush and uh, just remove a few flakes here and there the bigger stuff you have to remove by hand little stuff make your brush a, a little bit bigger than the, the thing which you are going to remove I have um, in the actions I have something for the flakes to be removed but I usually don't remove them I like the flakes they're very typical for newborn so I'm going to go and grab my patch tool and I'm going to remove these lines these lines are the best to be removed with patch tool. Okay, after I remove a few stuff like this, I'm going to make sure that I don't have anything selected so I'm sure that the, the action is going to work properly. So you're going to go to um, sele select and deselect or command D. I don't have anything selected, so that's why it's not highlighted. That's why it's not available. So um, I'm going to go and highlight both of these by holding Command, highlighting both, right click, and, and um, merge layers. It's going to merge these two layers. Then I'm going to go to my actions, and uh, here is my veil velvet. <coughs> You can do stuff before you sharpen and stuff if you want to, before you start with the skin. I usually start with the skin. I'm going to use uh, Frequency Separation Classic, so I'm going to click and I'm going to play it. And I'm going to start with painting on that texture, uh, that blur velvet layer, and I'm with big brush I mean, 100% opacity, 100% flow, uh, as soft as it can go, making it smaller, and I'm going to go and paint, and I'm going to show you what that does before my brush, and it, when you paint on this layer, it's going to kind of blend the colors underneath the texture. This is my texture, and this is my, um, my colors underneath, so I'm painting under the texture. The texture is not affected at all. And you have to avoid the edges, of course, not to make it flat. It may give you side effect. If you go on the edges, look how it may look, so don't go there. So I'm going to um, go with my brush and really fast, like for a tutorial, um, to blend the colors underneath to a certain degree. Close. And that's it. If it, it if it looks a little bit too uh, soft, you can always reduce the opacity and the softness. Okay. So if you have hair to remove, never ever remove the hair completely. It just never looks natural. But if you want to remove some of the hair, like this hair, for instance, here. You can, first of all, ask your, ask mom if she wants to. Um, that's not extreme case, but in some extreme cases, um, people want to remove hair. So I'm going to click on texture. Texture is actually hair, and it can be removed from hair. If I switch it off, you'll see the hair is gone. But I don't want uh, removing it that way, so I'm going to uh, go with my brush, very, very low opacity B for my brush, I go 10% or less, and 
and then it's okay it's a tutorial so I'm going to switch to black X to switch the colors and I'm going to paint a little bit just to show you how I can remove some of this hair and again never remove it completely leave some of the hair there so uh, it looks natural and here we go I remove some of the hair if you have hair on the shoulders or so and you know that's different way that's hair but it, it don't give the hair you don't see the hair so uh, that looks good I'm going to close it and I want to go on now with the color as you can see that is yellow baby is red and cold somewhat looking so we have to make the same color like 99% of the cases it's like that baby skin is uh, very thin and it's kind of cold red looking purplish depending on the baby now I'm going to go to my <coughs> red reduce veil with something which I use every day many times a day so you can see I play the action making my brush 100% the best and 100% flow and I'm going to play a uh, paint on the most red stuff with 100% best and 100% flow. Then I'm going to, you know what, I'm just going to ignore that arm here because uh, of uh, not to spend too much time. I'm going to reduce the opacity of my brush, let's say, to 45 and making it bigger. And I'm going to uh, paint on places which are not that red. Yes, the feet, they are still red. <coughs> and I painted some, and it's the way I did the action, the, uh, it's going to affect the red colors. It's not going to affect <coughs> yellow. If in the yellow it's, uh, there is some red, it's going to affect it, but it's going to affect that because this is red. But it's not going to affect this one because it's yellow. This is how the action is done, made. So I'm going to go ahead and play that action one more time. And this time with uh, B for my brush again, I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm going to reduce the opacity to, let's say, 12%. And I'm going to paint uh, again to some places a little bit more careful. And if I have red spots, let's say this one, underneath his uh, eyebrows I'm going to reduce the size of my brush and paint really careful you can you can add reds later because these reds are kind of uh, bluish red gold reds nobody likes these reds we like red but we like it more okay and you can already see let me show you before and after. Maybe some spot here I can. Oh, that's okay. I'll fix it later. Let me turn off this. And the colors look uh, somewhat decent. And what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to try to equalize the colors. I have to add yellows to him and remove some yellows from from that, okay? We'll see if we are going to need to remove them. Let's try actually first. And yellow shift is going to turn the yellows into reddish colors. And if I go if I go paint away yellows, let's try to see what's going to do before my brush, making it bigger and 100% opacity to see the effect and here it makes it less yellow and I'm going to just reduce the opacity a little bit that sure looks good so uh, let's warm that baby up a little bit I have a spelling mistake here but you listen how I talk, of course I do have spelling mistakes. 
So you can work the baby a few different ways. And sometimes even if uh, I have many choices here, it, it still won't work. Uh, I'm going to show another way to try for individual skin. So I'm going to paint 100%, just 100% flow and uh, see how it warms it up. And it really works for this baby. You can reduce the opacity of this layer. I'm actually going to go to that uh, arm too. Let me reduce this. And already you can see the skin looks the same color before and after. Before and after. The other way to warm the baby is sweet honey skin. No. It's going to make baby darker and it's going to make baby warmer. Here we go. And if you like this color better, you can open this action and you can play with this. This is going to, if baby gets too dark but you like the color, you can just uh, make it remove the darker part. Okay? Or remove the darker part, not not enough, remove this one. You can see it that looks perfect to me. Okay? I'm going to just get rid of this and I'm going to use the other one. It looks good to me. So, uh, let me turn off this. Everything looks good. I have some uneven skin tones here. So what I'm going to do, I can use an action here, but you know, I have make it lighter, but it's so much easier for me just to go and, and put an adjustment layer instead of going and looking for the action. So um, let me go and put levels adjustment layer and I'm going to make it brighter a little bit. Actually, the entire image looks brighter a little bit. I'll do this on the end. Then I'm going to invert this layer, layer mask. Image adjustments and invert. You can use action. I have an action for this. It's included in Velvet. It's just much easier if I don't go and look for the action because there are so many actions there. Before my brush, and I'm going to go and... Uh, reduce the opacity and I'm going to paint only over this spot here. Sometimes yeah, it's already done. Sometimes babies have these uh, spots and I do have an action for it, but I don't need to use it here. It's in velvet actions. So that looks good to me. Everything looks good, so I'm going to hold my shift key go to the bottom layer, right click and merge these layers. Um, now you can do, look at this red spot, let's fix it, red reduce velvet. So I think percent opacity is fine and I'm going to paint here making sure I'm in white. I have some more reds going here, it's going to be the opacity. And again, I can reduce the opacity. He saw red, he left reds on his dead arm. I'm going to reduce the opacity of this brush to 10%. And go ahead and paint. Around and re reduce this red. Sometimes, when you reduce the reds, they become, it became, become yellowish. It looks good to me, but if it becomes yellow, you can go yellow shift, play that action, go image adjustment, invert, and see how he became pinkish. But it's a little too pink, so I'm going to. It is pretty much it. 
I, in, in this uh, picture, and I'm going to merge this layer by holding shift, holding down, clicking on the bottom, and merge layers. Sometimes, I like the way it is. Let me show that action for. And they are self-explainable. Cool down, orange down. I don't care to baby skin, flakes, gun, something which I use uh, for cleaning the floors <laughs> or cleaning stuff. Um, like if the floor have crumbs, you can use this action. I'm going to play it now. are gone if you want to remove them but you have to avoid the edges i don't like to remove flakes that looks normal to me and if it's too soft like it came i'm going to merge this you can unshift oh okay let me use this merge layers and i'm going to go back and i'm going to grab my spot healing brush and remove a few spots here and there I personally like this I would not remove them keep them for now now if you want to you can stop here or you can just go and do some dodge and burn I'll play them both. B for my brush. This is going to make your um, image a little bit brighter. This is going to make it um, darker, of course. B for my brush, 10% opacity, 10%, 100% uh, well, just leave it like that. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paint some highlights here and there. I don't do much touch and burn. I do, but it's usually after uh, composite is done or you can duplicate this layer and do as much touch it and burn as you want. And dodge and burn takes a lot of time so not going to. Yeah, we got enough. Uh, sometimes you want to work on the eyelashes. Let's go chicken, which is rosy. B, let's go to the chick. B for your brush, 13% opacity is good. Don't overdo it. The action is actually quite... Uh, Very, very little. Okay, let's go to the lips. And those reds are warm, they are not cold like the reds we removed. And that looks good to me for my taste. And again, I can, I have the action that where you can uh, paint on light. And here it is. I'm going to make my brush bigger and I'm going to kind of paint that light over that shoulders to make him disappear a little bit and I can play in that action uh, play that action one more time command I to invert it and give the entire image like that and that's it they are done and here is before and after And if that's too bright now, you can reduce the opacity. That's, that's it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.